Hey YouTube viewers, it's Donnie Smith and welcome to this video on hammers and dollies. In this video, we're just going to cover the basics of hammers and dollies and how to select the right tool for the right job. There is a very wide variety of hammers and dollies out there when it comes to body work. And uh, all these dollies, you know, they have names. But uh, what I want you to concentrate on, not so much the name or any of that type of stuff, but what I want you to focus on is making sure that the right tool fits the job you're working on. And what I mean by that is every uh, dolly has a shape to it. And hammers, you know, we'll talk about those as well. And by the way, I'll put a link down in the description to these uh, dollies so that if you want more information about those or, or prices or anything like that, you know, you should be able to view what the current prices are. But dollies have a lot of different shapes. You'll notice that this one is flat really flat here however we don't drive too many box cars I see a few of them out there but you know usually a panel has somewhat of a contour in it and uh, so the, these flat surfaces may not come in too handy there are you know there are times when they will so that's why these dollies though have all these different shapes and what you want to do is uh, select a dolly that's going to fit the panel you're working on so for example if your fender has a contour to it and it fits that, well this is the right dolly. You know, make it simple, keep it simple. Just make sure that the dolly fits the dent that you're working on. Now this is called a toe dolly. And you can kind of see why it kind of resembles a toe, kind of the shape of a toe. And uh, it has a flat surface. If you are working on something real flat, also has some uh, a surface that has a radius. You know, it's kind of rounded here. Uh, it's got an edge here that's rounded. You know, if you're working on something where you need that shape. So it's got, you got quite a few different shapes and edges with this toe dolly. This is a heel dolly and I'm sure you can imagine why that's called a, a heel dolly. It's kind of shaped like a, a heel on your boot, you know. But uh, again, it's got a flat surface and then it's got a surface that's got a radius on the other end. And plus it's got a sharp edge around here if you're working on a corner or somewhere where you need that edge. And, uh, you know, there's several different surfaces and edges that you can, uh, you can use on that. So just make sure that whatever you're, you're working on, that you just make this fit the, the fender. Now this has a several different names. Uh, I think the correct name is Universal Dolly. Uh, I've also referred to it as a combination dolly because it's got different types of surfaces going on. And uh, it's also referred to as a rail railroad dolly because it's kind of shaped like that like a railroad beam but this has a a lot of different surfaces on it you know you've got a real rounded radius here uh, you've got this uh, I don't know if you can see it too good but you've kind of got a, an edge rounded surface here and then you've got this uh, flatter radius here so these come in real handy, uh, these combination dollies, universal dollies. Uh, you'll find a lot of uh, purpose, a lot of uses for that. Now, those dollies I was showing you and this hammer, uh, these are from Fairmont. You know, these are a higher end, higher grade uh, tool. A little bit more expensive than the ones I'm going to show you here. You know, Fairmont or Martin, that's more your professional grade tools, but they're going to cost you a little more money. But body hammers, the way to hold a hammer, the way I hold them, is I put it in my hand. And I use my index finger and I hold it forward because we don't we don't want necessarily hold this like a framing hammer because we're not going to rear back and hit hard. I'm going to hold it like that and that'll help you aim and guide the target that you're hitting for. Hold it like that and you also you know like I said you don't want to be framing a house or anything. You know it's going to take a series of smaller strikes rather than you know big ones. I know like when you're hitting a nail you know you want to hit that nail as hard as you can to get it you know. It into the wood with as few strikes as possible. Well, that's not the case in body work. You want to use a series of smaller strikes. This is a flat surface, but it's slightly rounded on the edges because if we did hit and we was off center just a little bit, if we hit like that instead of like that, if that's real sharp on that edge, you're going to dent the metal. So most of your body hammers are slightly rounded on this edge. And then, of course, th this this head is what actually hits the metal. Now if for some reason you just want to spread your blowout to a bigger area you could use this. This is called a spoon and you put this on the surface that you're hitting. Let's say we're working on a buckle and we're wanting to spread the, the blowout without damaging the metal. 
we could put this on there and then instead of hitting the metal we hit this and whenever that hits the spoon it's going to spread your hammer blow out to a larger area. This can also be used as a dolly. Let's say we don't have a lot of access to the back side of the panel and it's hard to get to it. You know, maybe we can't get a dolly, but we could reach this back there and use that as our dolly. Okay, now I'm going to show you this uh, Eastwood set. And if you're DIY, I think this would be a great set. Uh, I think uh, you can check the link down there, but I think this only runs like 80 bucks. I mean, it's not much, and you get, you know, seven piece, you get the hammers and, and assortment of dollies. But again, it's it's got a combination dolly, just like we talked about, and it's got another combination type dolly. You know, it's got some different services for you uh, to find, you know, whatever fits the panel. And then one we didn't talk about, this is a comma dolly, because it's kind of shaped like a comma. Uh, also heard, I've also heard this referred to as a wedge dolly. But this comes in real useful. Sometimes you've got a less radius surface that you're working on and that fits it real well like in a fender or something like that see that would fit that real well if that was the shape of the fender and you could put that back there and uh, work your metal with that also has a sharper edge here if you're working on a body line or you're needing to sharpen up an edge for some reason and then uh, also has a sharp edge right here so this can come in very handy as well now let's talk about the body hammers a little bit more this is your ch chisel hammer because this is a uh, like a chisel and this will work good if you're working on the back side of a body line or a concave area and you're wanting to uh, to uh, tap that down this will work real well this is just your regular hammer over here rounded on the edges so you don't bend uh, the metal if you're hitting crooked a little bit which you, whenever, whenever you hit your hammer should be straight down flat on the surface but you know I'm not perfect every time you may not be either so you do want that just a little bit rounded that comes in handy. Next we have a pick hammer and this is kind of like the chisel hammer but it comes straight to a pick and this usually is used just for if you're working your metal usually in the final stages and there's a small high and you just barely need to tap it down you can use that to tap that area down. Now when using this you never want to hit it too hard with that. You know this is for a lot, really light series of taps and again this is just the same surface as the rest of them you know it's got the rounded edges and this is for you know your regular body work and this is your shrinking hammer but this is used to help shrink metal because whenever uh, you're working with metal a lot of times it's going to become stretched and it may even oil can where it pops in and out on you you mean that means that the metal is stretched and you're going to have to shrink it uh, these teeth will bite into the metal and will help shrink the metal back to where it should be uh, if this doesn't do it you may have to use heat but that's what these teeth are for is to help shrink your metal. Now let's talk about just a couple of techniques real fast. There's basically the hammer on dolly and hammer off dolly. The hammer off dolly is the technique that you want to use first. That's for your rough out. That's to get the majority of the dent out. So as you reach in behind the dent, you're going to put this on the low area and you're going to push out, put some force, you know, pushing out on the, the dent. And as you're doing that, you're going to come with your hammer and you're going to tap down on any highs that you may have and around this area and as you tap and push those highs in you're going to push that low out then once you have the metal roughed out and it's pretty straight then you can use the hammer on dolly technique and that's uh, just used to smooth out the small ripples and things like that that's where you put the dolly on the back side of the dent and then you hammer straight onto the dolly just like this like I said, that just helps smooth out any of the ripples and things like that. But you have to be careful. Anytime you hammer on dolly, you're stretching that metal. And uh, so you need to be careful with that. You may have to use your shrinking hammer. If you stretch it too much, you may even have to use a heat shrinking method. This is just a quick overview of hammers and dollies. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you want more information, there's a link down in the description where you can find out more about these. If you like this video, be sure and give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Share it with your friends and be sure and watch some of our other videos. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to us, you know, be sure and subscribe to us. We have a lot more videos heading your way. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.